Hello and welcome everybody, it's Epic Player, and today we are back on Dungeon Arms as you can see. This, our surroundings might look a bit familiar, it's actually in the swamp, and I thought why not just make an episode of me actually trying to fight my way to the top of this uh, enormous tree, which kind of looks like a frog at least, that's what uh, I've been told. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so yeah, inside we'll find a couple of tier 2s. A lot of tier 3s, and uh, the higher we go, there's going to be a couple of tier 4s, and on top, an actual tier 5. Now, I myself, as you can see, am pretty good, actually, in tier 4. Uh, the helmet is tier 3, but it doesn't matter. I have like around 3,500 XP, oh, XP, yeah, XP, which is my health. Derp, and uh, we're, we're going to try to do the best and maybe get a couple of cool drops here. But... I uh, mainly try not to die since uh, it's a pretty crowded area with a lot of mobs that could potentially kill you. Now, um, there's actually a lot less lag than the last time I recorded it, so hopefully that will uh, stay like that. Oh, he dropped a bunch of arrows, and there's another tier three. Um, and we'll. Ooh, well, that that wasn't that that didn't take too long. So I got my first tier three drop. That's nice. Um, these currently go for around, oh, how much have I seen that, like for about three to 500 gems, depending on how good they are, those weren't that, that good, I like 230, that's decent, but not very well, it's not very good, I can actually make a bit of music, oh no, don't have my jukebox with me, um, I can use that here, so anyway, I'm going to drop that here, since I'm not really interested in tier 2, there was actually a kind of funny bug with that, oh, that jukebox over there, because in a, in a previous release, uh, that cheek box had a CD inside, well, a CD, um, <laughs> a music disc inside, and uh, every time the server was rolling out, basically an update of the world, there was a, a, a music disc in that cheek box that you could easily get when you knew where to look, and so players actually sold those for tons and tons of money because it was so rare and nobody actually knew where they were getting them from, and that is a lot of mobs and a lot of dirty fours! Um, well, I'm not necessarily pussy, but I only have like three and a half k health, and it's not too much. When you got damn it, stop shooting me! I'm just gonna hide down here. Oh wow, that's a lot of mobs. Um, so let's just try to like shoot them down here, like one by one, because I don't think they can actually get down the ladder if you if you don't let them or hit them. Now let's see if that one comes down. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, it doesn't seem like what it comes down. Oh, it's raining outside. Come on! Why is it always raining? Let this up. Oh, yeah. Now I hit another guy. Come on. I know they can teleport through their roof, basically, if they're too far away from you, but I'm not too sure that this distance is actually far enough for them to be teleporting. I could... Yep. Okay. That one just came down. But it's pretty cool. I noticed that with Bowie's. And also with tier 4 mobs. I didn't actually know that until I uh, went exploring myself. You can't actually hit back tier 4 mobs now anymore. You cannot oh my god! Oh my god! That is a lot of mobs. That is a lot of mobs. No sir, no sir. Stop, stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. You can't actually, oh, like, throw him back. Knock back doesn't... Oh, the only thing that works! I'm so screwed. I'm so fucking screwed. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just, like... I'm just, like, dying here. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Oh shit, one more hit, I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm one HP. I'm on one HP. People, you're probably watching the most exciting chase of me getting killed. I'm on one HP. Next hit, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm oh I'm regenerating. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was pretty retarded of me not to even equip all these potions I have in my inventory. And I'm getting spammed with fucking tier two again. Awesome. So Wow, okay, um, <laughs> sorry, my nerves are uh, it's just a wreck, I, I can't even talk anymore properly, okay, let's try again, um, <laughs> normally there's not like tier 4s coming in hordes like that, they normally come one by one, or maybe at max 2 or 3, and that was, that was around 4, and like 2 of them were these red guys that shoot little fireballs at you, so basically there was, what, what the hell was it? What the hell is wrong with you, buddy? He just fall. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> wow, that was that was that was something. Um, yeah, let's just lure that buddy over here. I don't like these 
But anyway, yeah, you, you can't actually throw back, uh, throw him back anymore, except when you have a uh, knockback on your weapon, which I do not have on mine, unfortunately. But it's also quite cool, since you can just basically stand in a corner, you get a couple of hits, they get a couple of hits, you can just start... Well, it, it's not really exciting, but it's secure, and for some reason while I'm standing in the corner, these arches are not seem... can't really hit me, even though they hit me right in the face. That's weird. Um... But I guess I'll, I'll take that as a bug or an advantage for that random. I'm probably going to report that to the scene afterwards and then uh, it'll be fixed. So, um, yeah, tree, tree. Um, not sure if you noticed but, or if you know, but this tree was actually built by me in Senior Sides and Gaming Shadow. Uh, oh, nice, another sword. Hello there. That's ah, a crappy sword. And, um, well, uh, same as this, the whole swamp was built by us, so. Uh, you make sure that you check it out, it's actually quite cool. It's one of the regions on the server that I think uh, well, well, is one of the regions that is uh, pretty good looking, as in detail, fine tuning. You can't really go five steps without seeing um, a lot of detail on the ground, on the floor, like special shapes, flowers, plants, everything. I even I even took the time to decorate the, um, the water around the tree. And uh, there's quite a bit of underwater life there. There's a couple of uh, a couple of water plants, a couple of fishes, uh, a few giant leaves laying around. And there's even a secret in that lake for those of you who like to explore secrets. Now you know there is a secret in that lake, and if you find it, then you'll be a happy boy. But yeah, I'll let you explore that area now. Let's see. Oh, nice splash potions. Ooh, gems, I always like those. Thank you. Now let's see what else we got. Oh, sweet little sword, you know those crappy... Oh, an orb of alteration. That's going to go for quite a few gems. I think they're at around 1,000 gems at the moment, maybe 1,500. Even though they have... Oh, no, come on, don't start. No, don't, 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 don't start lagging again. Dude, I was just in the mood for lag-free playing. But, um, these orbs of alteration, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the concept. Um, the Orbs of Alteration basically alter your stats of the weapon, that is the additional stats, for example on my uh, tier 3 sword here, that would alter the lifesteal and ice damage stats, the damage base value stay the same, on your armor the HP value also stays the same as well as the energy regen, and uh, all, all of the additional stats get rolled, and um, they actually have quite a high fail rate, and for me it turned out that normally when I try to use an Orb of Alteration I need like three of them to actually apply a new stat, the others just fail, so I think, I don't know the actual details, I could, well I could probably just ask back and he'll tell me, but I think the fail rate is around uh, 33 to 40 percent, well not the fail rate, the success, the success rate actually, and um, so it's actually quite expensive to apply new stats to your weapon, so you better get a few of them before you even try. Or, or you might just be lucky and get on a first shot. So, um, uh, come on, where you keep coming from? What the hell is going on? Is there like a drop party event going on? But um, yeah, we're we're pr we're going pretty high right now. Um, but already past the middle of the tree, I think. Or are we inside of the middle? Uh, somewhere. And uh, now there's going to be quite a lot of tier four mobs. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of positions where you can get like, um really nice, yeah, they always drop arrows, these suckers, um, where you can stand and at least avoid damage of the arches, I'm not sure if it's actually a butt, oh, that's a, that's a fiery guy, that's a fiery, oh, wow, you just had to, didn't you? Um, basically, what I've seen is, when you hit them, you can kite them around chests, that only works if you, like, um, hit them constantly, because otherwise they will gain in speed, and, uh, then pretty much rape you, but that was quite easy, didn't get hit a single time, as you can see, it works perfectly, um, it also works here, around that area. Wow, you just this? Oh no, you're back there. Okay, let's uh, let's get that guy going there. He's already on his way, and uh, after that, we'll, we'll take the bow. Yeah, come here. And this is a weird corner. This is where I noticed when you stand here in the corner, and there's an archer coming to you, towards you. You don't have to worry because he's not going to hit you. He's right in front of me, and he's shooting the arrow right through my face. But for some reason, he's not hitting me. So that works kind of sweet with like the tier four, four bow guys. Um. Well, that's probably going to be ranting at me later on for showing you that bug, but hopefully he doesn't watch my videos soon. Don't tell him, guys! <laughs> um, anyway, so if you want to farm tier 4 bowies, then just stay here, and uh, it's pretty chilly. So, um, 
yeah, pretty sweet. Um, as you may have noticed, I do quite a bit of serious damage with my um, with my sword, my tier 3 sword, that is, because it's got 134 max damage on it, which is absolutely ridiculous for a tier 3 weapon. Not even my tier 4 had that at the beginning before I started enchanting it. So, um, yeah, when I'm, when I'm full tier 4, it's going to go for a couple of thousand, I think, since oh, it's a pretty good sword. It's actually the best tier 3 sword I've ever seen on server. And, uh... It was formed completely allegedly, just to, to mention that. <laughs> oh, now it's a diamond. What was it? Weapon? No, armor enchant. That's cool. Do you have something I could. Oh, yeah, I can enchant my boots. I'll see that right away. Hello? Oh, to unequip it. Okay, let's quickly deal with that guy and then enchant my sweet boots. There we go. Fireworks! Yay! I love that particle effect. That is one thing of the of a lot of things I actually love in this server where you clearly can see that Vaccine put such a great effort into his uh, plugins when he actually designed them. There's so much detail and everything and uh, that's one of the cool features. Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned that. Uh, today's the 4th of July and there's quite a bit of fireworks going around in the city. So um, I'm probably not going to upload that video today. So um, I'm, I'm not sure, actually sure how long the fireworks are going to stay on but if you let it on for a couple of days then um, you should probably check that out because uh, there's a couple of right, you know, really cool effects in Serenica going on at the moment and um, if you're lucky enough to be actually online right now then I hope you have already gotten the really cool pet that is for sale today I'm not quite sure which one it is but it's probably a cool one since Vac always adds like special pets on freaking days oh my god that was a deep drop and you, of course, right behind me teleporting, even though... Oh, wait, you want to actually teleport? Oh, why are you full again? Why are you full? What? Why? Where's your three of you now? Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Let's go into a safe position. There, quickly. Throw a potion. Yeah, you come. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. You're going to go down with a couple of hits. Okay, let's quickly deal with that uh, close combat fight, because the bows won't actually do any damage on me. No, I have to kill that guy. No, oh, wait, they're actually doing damage. Why are you doing damage? Stop shooting me! For Christ's sake, what the hell? Why are they so strong? They're not... Oh, wow, now I have to... Ah, uh, now I have to fuck off. Okay, this is not good. I don't want to... Oh, oh, oh wow, it almost shot me off the edge there. Um, I don't even want to use up all of my potions since they're kind of rare, even though even I'm in the uh, area where there's a couple of tier 4 chests, but... I don't want to waste all of the potions in case I need them later on, as you've seen. <laughs> I've already needed them today, even though I didn't actually see them, because I was stupid. But, uh, yeah, you should probably keep a few spares with you in case you just ran into, like, huge mobs groups, as I just did. And, uh, have to run away and, yeah, try to not die. Because I don't really want to lose my tier 3 and 4 weapon, that would be a shame. So, I'm, I'm playing secure here. <laughs> playing secure, 1 HP, running away from mobs on a tree, yeah. <laughs> that kind of secure. Yeah, you go right over the edge, buddy. You go right over the edge. And what are you doing down there? Can we get you back up? I, mean, I was just going to shoot you once so you can teleport, okay, buddy? Where are you going? What the, where the hell are you going? There's nothing back there. Dude, come back here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going for you. I'm got. Oh uh, no, I'm not going for you. Oh shit, he's coming for me. Okay. Um. Oh hello there. I can see you through the window. So, uh, yeah, the 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 tree is actually a chaotic zone. Also keep that in mind if you um plan on farming here. So, if you're lucky enough to be a subscriber of Dungeon Roms, then um you're probably <laughs> gonna have a, a blast today since uh there's only like two or three players online on this server at the moment. So there's quite a low chance of actually getting um in trouble. But if you're like on US 1 to US 5 servers, you should probably put. Oh, come on, now you're 3 again. Can't you like. What? Just once, guys. Just once. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. I'm one guy, you're 3. And you're even stronger than me, because you might like ridiculous power attacks that I don't have a chance against. Okay, I'm, I'm going to kill you anyway. I'm, I'm better than you. I'm going to show you. That's right. You're first. Come here. Come here! That's right. That's right, you're going down, buddy. Oh, tier two. Oh, you're so sweet. Trying to kill me here. Oh, yeah, and your body right behind you. Okay, that's quite a bit of annoyance. Um, 
can I trick him? No, I can't trick him. Like, the, the thing in the corner only works if they're, like, right next to you on the next block. If they're, like, the block away, then it doesn't work anymore. So, I'm not quite sure what kind of bug that is. But, why are you glitching food? Stop glitching. What the hell? There we go, finally. Alright, let's try again. I actually want to go a bit higher since, um... I'm, c I'm quite sure that chests will only regenerate when you're a couple of blocks away from them. So I'm um, trying to do that. Oh yeah, you just respawn right in my face. What the hell? You I thought you were dead. Okay, um... But yeah, the tree is a really cool spot. You can... Uh, you have a couple of chests here. You have like one chest on this level where I'm at right now. You have up to three chests on the level right below me. And you have like one chest right above me. So, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff around here. Um, it's all tier 3 and 4 chests, I think. Because I've already gotten quite a bit of good dro drops from them. Even a weapon. Oh, well, just a th tier 3, but... What? Well, something. And there's quite a few tier... Oh, right! You may have noticed that, um... That is not actually a king. I have installed a hat mod. That's right. And, for some reason, when, uh... You join a server... It just gives random hats to players and mobs sometimes, right? So that's looking pretty freaking awesome when you're like in Serenica with all the player shops. Because um, if you don't know, under the player shops, there's actually an entity model of a player. And that is just going to restart the server, which is quite bad since I'm in a little bit of a precarious position. So uh, let's hope he, he, he's going to do a countdown so I can uh, like go to a secure location in the meantime. And, uh, get hide over here, I guess, is kind of a safe spot. Yeah, I'm just going to stay here. When is it going to respawn? Hot fixing something with a new pet, thanks. Yeah, I don't actually care, I don't have a new pet, so. Is it going to do, it? oh, where, where's the countdown? Is it just going to do, like, a an immediate shutdown? He always plays it down a little, as if, uh, as if the server crashed, even though he's actually shutting it down, so. Don't fall for that. <laughs> but yeah, quickly only grab the chest before it restarts, so um, so they eat, respawn immediately afterwards. And ah, uh, you blocking my my chest. Go away, buddy. Go away. That's right. Oh come on! Oh no, shit! Wow. Now you decide to respawn just when I was opening the chest. Oh wow! Really? Really, guys? Come on, be reasonable. Oh, you must be fucking kidding me. Okay, so, <laughs> as said, um, the new hat mod is genius. It is very funny. Uh, I've even seen a Mr. T man who's just, like, wearing a Mr. T mask. Oh, wow, a scroll. Awesome. But, um, I myself, um, not sure what I'm wearing at the moment. I think I'm still wearing some weird raccoon hat that I got for a video that I'm doing at the moment. Um... Oh shit, server restarting, 30 seconds, okay, let's get to a safe position. Back here. Now, as always, you might know it, sync and log out, secure log out, and I'll see you probably next time. I hope you enjoyed the first part of it, tree, and see you later, guys.